Hey guys, welcome to another video. I am in Experimental 1.17 and there's a whole range of new items that have been introduced. In this video, I'm going to have a little look at two of them and their effectiveness against zombies or you should prefer to call them infected. Now the first item is the meat tenderizer. You can see here, this is returning to the game. Let's have a little look at this particular item. Now, arguably, you could say this might be quite a useful weapon. It's pretty grim. The thought of getting that smashed against your head could be very damaging. But how much damage does it do? I'm going to test it out on some zombies. Let's read the text here. Tool used to tenderize slabs of meat in preparation for cooking. Although the head is heavy and resistant, the handle may not stand up to excessive force. I don't know whether the implication there is that it's going to actually break pretty easily, but I guess we'll find out. We have our first test sample up ahead here. Let's see how effective this weapon is. So I think that was six hits. That last hit may have been to the head. Right, okay, so this guy went down pretty quickly. Three shots, one to the head was very effective. And this guy also wasn't as many as the other the other zombie. So not such a terrible weapon. When you consider in the last update the firefighter's axe was taking four hits. There you go. Not it's actually not a bad weapon. In fact, for its size as well, you could say it's quite effective. Four hits there. I think one of them was a headshot again. I just want to point out as well that these items are returning to game. They have appeared in Daisy before, but were taken out. So these are legacy items that are being reinstated. The second item I want to have a look at is the meat cleaver, or the cleaver. Let's take this and have a look at it. It takes up six spaces like the tenderizer. A big, heavy, sharp knife designed to slash through thick, raw meat. You can also crack bones easily, mostly used by butchers. Yeah. I like the textures. It looks good. So let's test it out on some zombies and see if it's any good, but also how it compares to the meat tenderizer. Again, I think that was a headshot. It felt it felt better that weapon and I also noticed down here that you've got the shave myself option so you can use this like a knife to shave yeah so three three good hits there seem to take the zombie down you can't sneak up and do the the insta kill you can with a normal knife which makes sense you can't stab it into the side of a zombie because of the very way the blade is shaped that was pretty good not bad You definitely cannot use it as a sneak attack. Again, four, four hits. Feels slightly more reliable than the meat tenderizer. I think those were all body hits as well. Okay, let's just have another little look at the meat tenderizer. If 
very similar swings. Again, that was pretty quick as well. I think my conclusion is that these are actually very similar in how they affect the zombies. Looks like they do similar sorts of damage. Uh, the swing arc is the same. I guess there's just a few additional benefits from having the, the cleaver. For example, you can harvest long sticks here using the cleaver. There, long stick. And you can harvest bark as well. Which is very handy. If we go back to the tenderizer, you see you get no options. So the cleaver's more versatile, you can't do the sneak attack. Very similar weapons. I think that this these are good additions. I think we were slightly lacking weapons in game. These obviously found in residential locations. I think they're gonna be pretty common. I think we're gonna see some pretty good sort of horror cleaver kills in game. Guys, so I hope you found this video useful. If you did, click the thumbs up. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed already, awesome if you could. And if you've got any comments, add them in down below. Guys, I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching.